Let me tell you a shopping story. I'm just leaving family dollar, dollar tree here in Lano, Texas, but this has nothing to do with the people that work there. It's not their fault at all. It, it's uh, just this high tech circle or cycle or circle, I guess is better that we live in. Uh, anyway, I went into the store uh, to get some Dr. Peppers because they have diet Dr. Pepper sometime at a reasonable price. And I thought, well, so I go in there and they've got a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper, 12 ounce cans for, it was like $7.50 for one 12, pack, 12, one 12 pack. So I get to the register, they ring it up, it comes up to $9.20. I said, that's not right, it's marked blah, blah, blah. They check, yeah, you're right. And they said, but, you know, big deal. You know, we, we have them on sale right now, three of those 12 packs for $11. I thought, well, hell yeah. I'll do that, but they only had two Diet Dr. Pepper 12-pack cans. I said, well, can you give me two for the sale price? No, we can't do that. And I said, well, what else you got? So many anyway, we ended up with, I got, they're called Dr. Pepper Zero because you had to get three. I thought, well, hell, for 11 bucks, I'd be better off. So then they tried to ring it up and it came up to $18 and something. And the reason was, is uh, you have to have the app for the store or for dollar or whatever it is, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever. You have to have the app and you have to have entered your phone number to get the sale price, okay? Well, I didn't have the app. And, and anyway, they, they did that. And uh, guess what? Uh, it still didn't work. It still rang up uh, too high. It, you know, because I said, you know, $11 plus sales tax shouldn't be any more than $11.80 or so. And uh, and they agreed. It's not their fault. You know, they're trying to sell the product, you know. And, uh, but anyway, they ended up, they had to just go into the system and force the price uh, to work. And they did. And I appreciate it. Thank you, ladies at Dollar General in, in Lano, Texas. You were very helpful and very courteous. And I know none of this is your fault. But the point of this video is, is that, you know, whenever you're shopping, no matter where, whether it's Walmart, even Amazon, I guess, can do it. Well, I don't know. You put it in your shopping cart, it's usually the correct price. But at Walmart and grocery stores and stuff, whenever you go in, I, I, it would behoove you to check the price when it rings up or kind of have a good idea how much you owe, because if you don't, uh, because they told, you know, they said, you know, we've actually sold out of these products now. Okay. And, and uh, she said, all of them were sold at the price that, that rang up for you, the $18 and nobody ever questioned it. You know what I mean? Think about that. I was the only person that said, hold it. You know, it ought to be $11 and 80 cents. And then we got into this rigmarole, but anyway, buyer beware. Okay. But anyway, enjoy your day. Fix me, go get me some ice for my Dr. Pepper now. And uh, yeah, life keeps going on and on. But if you if you think, I know a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna participate. I'm not gonna have a smartphone. I'm not gonna do any of that crap. That's fine. That's fine. Keep your flip phone, do whatever the hell you wanna do. But one day you're not gonna be able to buy gas. You're not gonna be able to order any products. You're not gonna be able to do anything, you know? But anyway, enough said. Enjoy your life. Adios. Bye bye. Use the Amazon link in the description of my videos. It helps and drink plenty of water, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life. It's kind of a comedy if you allow it to be. Adios, bye.